Uh, I am Asmel Lash Danye from southern part of Ethiopia. So I'm going to talk about Smart Ethiopia. So Smart is a local NGO based in the in southern part of Ethiopia, specifically in Hadia zone, Shashogo Orda. So Smart is uh, stands for sustainable management of alternative and renewable technology. Since 2011, Smart is is very curious on the topic of sustainability in terms of, of, of providing water and stuff like that. So in reality, almost 80% of hand dug wells are not functioning in the community and the community is, is still suffering the problem. So Smart was, was a local NGO or, or locally grow up NGO financed by ARS, Anton Ruth Steftings, German Foundation. So SMART is working on, on providing drinking water for the community with sustainable manner, following with hygiene and, and after drinking water with hygiene, finally with food production. So these are three interconnected businesses that SMART is running with, with social community in sustainable way. So the point is SMART is providing a community with just drilling a borehole up to 150 meter and pump up the water with solar and the community gets energy at the same time and they also use clean water for, 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 for hygiene purpose. Following this there was a problem in, in terms of food. So SMART is thinking about how to, how to provide food for the community. And it is not, it is not perfect or it, it is not um, a technique to provide peop, food for the people rather than teach them how to create food or how to produce food. So I'm, 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 I will just come down to, to, to the food project that we are working on. So we start up something like sustainable food production technology. Then SMART has owned a land from the government where go the government is really social with SMART and they provide a land where we put our solar, solar panel and the well and, and all this stuff. So following our well, uh, solar powered well, we start introducing sustainable food production on the plot of land that we have. So this is really important thing that the farmers are, are really curious and they, from the beginning as we start our bio-organic farming on a small plot of land and the main objective is, is not to produce just a food and, and just end up with something small but the point is to teach the farmers like silent revolution how to cultivate in a sustainable way environmentally friend that's what we are doing rather than bringing food for the community and creating carbon problems so smart is start to produce this food from 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 the from the beginning from the nothing on a small scale with sustainable technology of we are using a tool as a tool permaculture we call it permaculture so permaculture is one of the tools that we are using to produce food in a sustainable way so the point is just make a very intensive organic garden in 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 almost all of our 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 sites that operating now we have four then from the beginning the farmers are say are you crazy why you are covering your land with with such a mulch or such organic matter? You have to clean all and and the soil must get sun. Or you have to plow again and again your soil and the soil must eat each other. And we say, okay, that's the principle that you are doing with, which is still fine. But we will do the way we want to do. Then after, we have something to eat which is completely new in, in, in opposite season that the farmers are waiting for rain, we have something to eat in our, in our garden. Like, 
So what we are doing is we take care for the land to sustain itself and to keep all the rain or all the water in the ground by increasing the, the, the organic matter in the soil, which is like conservation farming. Then after, farmers start to, to look at the gardens that we already make in the middle of nothing. It's mixed cropping, completely different from them. They are using monoculture with chemicals. We are not using chemical. We are really biological. We are environmentally friend. We are working with all the nature, all the bees, all the animals like lizards are working with us as pest controlling stuff. Then the farmers uh, start to ask, oh, so can I have your carrot in this dry season? Oh, yes, please. But we want you to pay. And the farmer, okay, so we will, we will buy some from you. It's great. But if this, is not, this is not something we want to do. We want very motivated farmers who want to copy us. Then after, they start asking, can you give a training for us? Oh yes, please. Then smart, as a smart as local organization, we start thinking and, oh, okay, so we must transfer this know-how for the local farmers in terms of sustainable farming. Then we come up with a project and say, ah, let's, let's construct a training center which can sustain itself. So we have a training center in the, in the town of, 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 of Bonosha, which is a center of all our project sites. Or our then, in the training center, what we are going to do is, we will train the water technology, energy technology, like how to fix up solar, how to work with charge controllers, how the pump is working, how, the, how we change, get valves and stuff like that, and sustainable food production. So we, we, in our training center, we start accommodating farmers and we start to conduct training for trainers on the sustainable farming technology. Then our main goal is, first one, we need to have silently farmers who are copying our bio-organic farming. Then they produce organic food, healthy, environmentally friend. Then they start feed their family. The next thing is if they manage to produce more and enough, we will create a link with, with organic restaurants for them, then they will export that food directly without any in person in between, directly to the, farm, to the restaurants. So they can get money and they can also help their own family. Then finally, now we are almost make four gardens in all of our four intensively cultivated gardens following the solar well. The garden is really doing well. And at the final point, the government is also very curious because in all the districts, the government have farmers training center. So those farmers training center are quite different from us because we are working on biological and really environmentally friend. And at the end of the day, the administrator of the agriculture come to us and say, mm, okay, so, it's really interesting to have you here and you are making very nice gardens in, 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 in the villages, which are observable for the farmers to learn, to touch. So, would you help us to do the same in our farmers' training centers? Okay, yes. So, we will train your farmers for free, but we will charge you means we need you to pay and they said no 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 you will train us and you will pay for us and we said no we will not train you and again pay for you but 
even we will train you for free, but you have to cover your cost. So now it's it's in the other side. It's something new, you know, in our country. So it's very interesting that the government is also really interested on what we are doing. So finally, the point is, we will also we we also start to make a nursery of fruit trees and vegetable trees. So at the same time, we are promoting new or, or, or the fruit trees which the farmers are not used to plant, like mango tree, like, like avocado tree, like moringa tree. Then in, in a silent revolution, those farmers will start copying us and planting all those fruit and vegetable trees. Then they will have food for the future which is organic and finally next years we are also coming up with animal integration project then almost we have all the fodder in our in our in our project areas then we wanted to teach them how to keep animals how to provide provide fodder or how to cultivate fodder as well because they they just allow all the cattle to, to pick up everything on the, on, on the farmland and stand on, stick or walk all over the farmlands and, and destroy all things. So this is also the next project that we are also working on in next, in next year. So that's what SMART is doing. In terms of uh, the climate change, we are also working to be or to, to reserve or to, to, prev to, to, to sustain in in, in a climate change so what we are doing is also we also in, we are also implementing dry land farming techniques which are really important and and can be productive in only only farm farmlands who are looking for rain so what we start to do is we we implement soil and water conservation techniques like making swell to keep all the water under the ground to stop erosion to stop all the nutrients going away so the funny thing that i i, I had in uh, in last three months is there is a ridge coming into our site then i make very big three swells and the farmer is he didn't he didn't know to do what to do then heavy rain comes and bring all his topsoil to my 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 swells in 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 our swell and next day i come and say oh thank you we get your top nutrient full soil for free here in our land and they say oh yes so what was wrong with me that's a good question so this is how we we want to work on and and change the mind of farmers so that farmer is really interested to copy us and to learn from us so this is how we start teaching the farmers in 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 sustainable farming way and that's what we are doing